Hey everybody, welcome to Season 5. It's Season 5 of Charmed. This is called A Witch's Tale. It's a two-parter, so we'll bundle it all together. Last time, it turns out Piper is pregnant with a baby. I hope it's a baby and not a demon. The last, the last one was a demon. Uh, speaking of demons, Cole, who is not a demon, or is he? Or is he not? He's absorbed energies of demonic energies. Does that count? He may or may not still have a bit of the source in him. And, well, he escaped from a tentacle monster hellscape. And he's vowed to keep fighting for him and Phoebe's love, even though Phoebe's like, um... So we'll see where that story goes. And Paige, Paige is just, she's just chilling. Get a new job, Paige. Get out of that office. You could, do, you could do much better than that. Or just go on adventures, like a Scooby-Doo person. You know? That's what I'd like, too. You get a van. A green. A green van. I love her car. Anyway, Daryl survived the end of the season, which I like. Hey, they could ride him out of the show, for all I know. But as long as he survives, I'm happy. i got my eye on you, Daryl. I know your plans. Anyway... Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. A witch's tail. Like, like, like a dog's tail? Hopefully they don't all turn into animals. Those episodes never go well. Oh, and yeah, is, is, Piper, are you going to be pregnant? Are you going to have already had the baby? We'll find out in about three seconds. Well, the house arrived, the transition. Okay, Piper, I can't be late getting to the office. I have a radio interview with those morning guys, Pip and Skeeter. Could you forget about your advice columns? Come see where we're putting the nursery. You're the nursery? Look, it's Ooh. perfect. Hey. I'm adding a window to bring in the light. Okay, instant pause. Piper is not showing yet. She's still pregnant, but she's not pregnant pregnant. So maybe this season will be she's pregnant. And maybe the baby won't come till the end of the season or next season. And we're setting up a nice little room up here for the child. And we got to see more of the upstairs of the house in at the last seven seconds than we had in four seasons of the show. Did you see all the walking through the little places into this room? I've never seen so much walking up here. That was cool. I'll be looking at that in editing just to get it into my brain. Leo's got a haircut or something. Anyway, right. Question one answered. Piper's still pregnant. We're getting ready. We're preparing a nursery. And the house has survived. And sometimes when the show starts, we're we're running from the triad. But it's just, we're just picking up basically where we left off. So. And create a sense of space. You guys are very cute. I can't believe you guys didn't notice my billboards downtown. Your billboards? Of course we noticed them. You can see them from a passing 747. I want to see them. Whoop. Positions bogey in three. What the? Oh, duck. A bear. What was that all about? Oh, excuse me, can we refrain from blowing up demons in the nursery? Oh, honey, it was just one. And you, you're getting so caught up with this magical kick. Look at your hair, it's still red from the potion you blew up last night. It's cool yeah. looking. I love your new do, honey. It's yeah, really yeah, beautiful. yeah. Okay, but yeah. Too bad, Miley. What? You had 30 days to find love, or the penalty would be death. 30 days to find love? But he does love me. He doesn't have to tell me he loves me. Well, actually, he does. Place this auger shell over your heart. Don't, don't do, oh, do not do. Oh, no. And if I don't? Then you can rot for eternity right here. What is the item? What? Oh. He does love me, and I'm gonna prove it. Is she a mermaid? Oh, she's a mermaid. Oh. Well, this is, this isn't a, this is just, ah, they did this before. There is no intro for the first episode. Oh, but they're still starrings. What the? Leo, baby book. My baby book. <laughs> you were so adorable. 
Leo, you can't even see the picture. <laughs> You're white lighter. I've been watching you ever since you were a baby. Uh -huh. what, what, what? What? No, you haven't. No, you haven't. Leo? Leo? What? What did you just say? He just said something that isn't true. Why would you lie to her? Why would you lie to her, Leo? That's that's not fair. Remember the people I don't mention? That are the worst invention of the show? And they also were there their entire lives? Watching over them? Giving them inspiration? Leo, you were not watching Piper when, since she was a baby. <laughs> now, were they born with their powers? Maybe. Until Grams, you know, restrained them. But I don't like this. I don't like when they do this. <laughs> it's kind of creepy. It's kind of creepy, isn't it, Piper? Your boyfriend was watching you when you were a baby. Isn't that kind of creepy, Piper? Don't you agree? I'm still avoiding look at the name, looking at names. I almost didn't get to see your cute photograph. Anyway, let's get back to it. <laughs> I, I, I don't like this is the way it's always been, except this is the first time we're mentioning it. Hey, maybe you did mention it before, but I don't know. I think I would have remembered. Ah, uh, yeah, see, that's too creepy to think about. Creepy, see? Are you okay? Yeah. Why don't you let me help you? That's heavy. Piper, when are you going to accept the fact that you're pregnant? When are you going to stop being so overprotective? Generations of Halliwell women raised perfectly normal children before me. They all got through it, and so will I. Everybody's a producer. Not all of them. How far along in the book have you gone? Oh, look at these pictures. Hey, we saw a picture of our actual mother. Therefore, they have the permission of the actors. <laughs> Therefore, I think we're going to see the actors in this episode. Maybe the witch's tale is going to be about their mother. Where did all the pictures go, Leo? There was no one there to finish it after your mother died. Oh, crap. She was careless, too. She thought she was invincible. No, she... what? She was wrong. It was a lake monster. Well, what, are, what do you suggest, Leo? That we just... How can we avoid demons and stuff? Hello? I bear a message from my master. Who is this? He wants the immortality you promised him, and he wants it now! He'll get what he wants, but he must be patient. I'll do as you ask, but it'll be the last thing I do before Necron eats my life force. Get out of here. Then comes for yours. She can take care of herself. She's a witch or something. I don't know who she is. Does she still have to find somebody to love her? Miley. Miley. Hey. Her name is Ariel, dude. I need to know how you feel about me. You know what I love? No? What? Your enthusiasm. What else? I love this temple right here. Yeah, but what do you think about the whole package? But unless you tell me how you feel about me, I may not be here when you get back. Whatever I feel for you should come out when I'm ready. But we're running out of time. This isn't fair, what I'm asking you. What do you think? Okay. When I first met you, I felt a wall come down. A wall around my heart. Oh, she's gonna turn into a mermaid. I mean, I don't know how to say this. Covered. But, uh... I gotta go. He was about to say it, though. He was about to say it. Hey, Phoebe. Why is she advertising? She has a column in a paper where she gives advice. Why is she advertising? Why? Why not? Why is she advertising? Why is the paper advertising that? Hey, I, I'm not complaining. It's a cool, cool billboard, and she's getting super famous. And they're going to get in inundated, but with letters. But how does that? I guess it does drive sales. You know? Yeah. Okay, I can see it. I, I convinced myself. Oh, I hear this. This one is really good. Let's buy the paper. Find out. She already seemed swamped with letters, though, in the previous season. And didn't she say she was going for an interview? What kind of an interview? Maybe she's the new hottest property, and all the local papers or international papers are vying for her to join them. 
Oh, and more importantly, my brain needs to settle down a bit today. Ariel here, or whatever her name is, she's gonna ask Phoebe for advice. And you know what Phoebe's like with innocence. Or anybody who comes asking for help, she'll help her. She'll help her. <laughs> it is pretty rainy out there. It's rainy out here today, too. Matthews, in my office, now. No, she still works here. You've been gone an hour. Yeah, well, there's a freak rainstorm. The entire city's flooded. You have this habit of coming and going as you please. No, I come and go as other people please. Yeah. Well, your behavior's got to change. Maybe it'll change if you promote me to social worker. Already did. What? You start tomorrow. Dude. He promoted you? Why is he such a jerk and then so nice? No more coming to work late, no more long lunches. I can't believe with all that you have going on, you found time to push a divorce through the system. I don't want to have to look over my shoulder praying that Cole isn't going to find a way out of the demonic wasteland. Do you think he will? He, I don't care. He's out. Because even if he does, after today, I'll be free. She's filing for divorce? I get that she, she associates Cole with all the bad stuff that happened to her. But what about all the other stuff, Phoebe? There were some good times, too. Yeah. Remember when you were killing demons? You were in the prime position to kill all those demons. And remember when you stopped Cole from giving up his evil powers so that he could be with you and your baby and buy teddy bears and stuff? Remember that? And then... Remember when he literally saved your life t t twice? You're, uh, you're only alive now. Twice. Because of what he did in the final episode of last season. One. He held on to you so that you didn't get swallowed by the tentacle monster. And two, when that Bruce Campbell was about to kill you, he swapped the places. Remember? You remember that, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> but look, okay, she's putting through a divorce. Does she have to divorce? I guess she does. She can't just say he's dead, because there's nobody. But can you divorce somebody without them being around? Maybe there's a... Yeah, there's probably a law about that. Like he has 60 days to contest it or something, and then... But yeah, she's doing super well. Super successful. She's been focused on her work. She's like, I'm not gonna... I don't want to deal with dating. I don't want to deal with relationships. I don't want to deal with demonic children. I'm just gonna get back to basics gonna do my job gonna become super successful and I don't want to think about any weird stuff now what are we why are we looking at a pipe oh water water that's why the mermaid's gonna appear that's why the mermaid's gonna intercept her ask for help and I wonder if the mermaid the mermaid's relationship stuff will have any Phoebe Cole connections, you know? If there's, I don't think so. That guy seems okay. Unless he's a lawyer, that might complicate things. <laughs> Maybe she can just convince the mermaid that she doesn't need that guy, you know? You gotta love yourself. Just tell yourself that you love yourself, and th that will do. Then you'll be free from the curse of that cave witch. You know, that was the lesson all along. Once you're okay with yourself, you you can be free. That's what Phoebe learned, and that's what the little mermaid's gonna learn. See, I don't need to watch it. I do. I don't need to watch these episodes. I just make them up in my head. It, but did she break into her car? Ah! I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Hello. I need your help. If you write a letter, then I respond. Touch her. I recognized you as a charmed one. What? You're very famous where I come from. I'm not evil or anything. <gasps> kind of cool though. She's all gold and everything. Oh, oh, the sea hag attacked my tail. Oh, she's a sea hag. Oh, uh -oh. here she comes. Run her over. She'll turn into water. Yeah. Who is she? Ursula? I don't know. I don't know names. <laughs> 
I'm Miley. You must be Paige. Hey, Miley. You have a very big underwater fan base. Do you guys actually exist? Does your skin get wrinkly? Does algae pose a personal hygiene problem? Okay, guys, why don't we let her up for a little air? Actually, there's nothing like being a mermaid. To swim in the open sea all day. She would have birthed into some. It's pure freedom. Sounds like heaven. So you said you wanted to feel love. Is that why you went to see the sea hag? Yes. If a mortal professes his love to a mermaid, she becomes human. But if I didn't find love before her deadline, I would have to give her my immortality. All that for a guy? Boy, did you get taken for a ride. PB. Craig's getting on a plane to New York soon. If your boyfriend's love can make you human, why don't you just tell him you're a mermaid? Mm. You mean that I'm a genetic freak with a fish tail coated in glandular slime? Don't phrase it like that. You may be half fish, but you're still a woman, and women, they generally know when a man's in love even before he does. Please. If I wrote that slop in my column, I'd be driven out of town. That is it. Can I see you two in the kitchen? <laughs> Phoebe's heart is... Remember, remember Phoebe's heart in season one and two? And Cupid had to, like... To open it up. <laughs> I love doing this because that's what he was doing with her. He was. You remember Cupid, don't you? Oh, I wonder if I'd recognize him. I can't. I can't even remember. But yeah, she's closed her heart again. It was open for a brief, brief window of time. She let the evil and the darkness and the the sexy times in, and then she's like, "Oh, I can't do that." Let's. Let's go back to closing it off and giving advice to other people. Now that she's older and wiser. Anyway, do you think we're gonna get the truth from Craig? Will he profess his love at the airport when we rush to intercept him? He seems like a sleazy businessman type guy who has a girl in every city, doesn't he? I don't know. Maybe he's nice. Maybe he's nice. Oh, and I love that the mermaid said to Paige that she had a big under, underwater following or something, fan, fan base. I presume that that is a little reference to the fans that Paige had picked up in her first season of the show. You know, it, it feels like that. It feels like that. Okay, what is going on with you guys? I'm sorry, like you need a man to be complete. Okay, so you're dumping all over our innocent? I don't mean to be. If Cole shows up and we're still married, then it was all for nothing. Um, does it matter whether they're married or not when he shows up? 